Welcome back. I'm J Matt. This is the J Matt Show. Let's go. All right, so by now, I'm sure many of you have heard that Joe Rogan has signed a $100 million deal with Spotify. He's taking his content out of YouTube, over to Spotify, licensing deal, big, big, major money, like like major moves is being made. So we about to watch the first reaction. I haven't heard really anybody speak about this yet. So we're going to watch this together. This is Patrick Bet David is about to give his perspective on Joe Rogan's $100 million deal with Spotify and, you know, what that means with content creators going forward on YouTube. So let's let's hear what this is about. Higher podcast and YouTube exclusively by the end of the year on Spotify. That means no YouTube. So Google loses and no iTunes, which means Apple loses. And there's no other place you can get his content except for Spotify. And Spotify's even making a video component. They don't have it right now, but they're doing it specifically for Joe Rogan, apparently. So who won here? Who made the money here? And by the way, when I give you some of the math. Who won? Uh, Joe Rogan. Money Spotify spent to what? get Joe Rogan to go there. You will be surprised on how much money Spotify made in the last two days. You will Pause real quick, because one thing that's crazy is I was thinking about how long joe rogan been on youtube he's been on youtube he's like one of the ogs on youtube seriously so it's like how could youtube let him walk that's like letting your bottom chick go to the competition like you just don't let that happen especially given today's market everybody with the quarantine everybody got to stay home everybody consuming more content than ever before and you let your prize possession not that he's your possession at all but Yo, big money, maybe, you know, maybe because YouTube is so big, they like whatever is whatever. But why wouldn't they offer him a bigger deal to stay? Because I'm pretty sure y'all could afford more than 100 million to, to keep him. Like, but I think that speaks to more of what they doing with the censorship on YouTube, because they not they not really letting a whole lot of shit fly no more. So maybe as an OG, he like, shit, I'm out of here. Shell shock when I share with you on how much money was me. Now, let's take a look at this. What does this mean to the marketplace? A couple things. Number one, if you guys remember Donald Sterling, a name you haven't heard for a while because Steve Ballmer bought the Clippers, Clippers from Donald Sterling for $2.2 billion. Now, here's a story. Donald Sterling bought the San Diego Clippers years ago before they were the L.A. Clippers. He bought the San Diego Clippers. You know for how much? You ready? Did he buy for three hundred million? No, I don't Maybe know. Maybe hundred million, right? Fifty million. Tell me. How about sixteen million? How about twelve and a half million dollars? Damn it! Stop Donald with the games. Donald paid twelve and a half million dollars for the San Diego Clippers. He sold it to Balmer for two point two billion dollars. From twelve and a half to two point two billion dollars. Why does this matter to you? The day that. Uh, 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 what's the name of the guy that bought the team? The day Bomber bought the team for $2.2 billion, you know what happened that day? The following day, they said Michael Jordan's a billionaire. Why? Because every team's valuation went up. So what does this mean? What does Donald Sterling and Bomber and Clippers have to do with Joe Rogan? Everything. It's like living on a lot. You bought a house for $500,000. Ah, so basically Joe Rogan just set the market for content creators on youtube in layman's terms like he he got that first big deal that changes the game for the creators it's like you are able to determine how much you're worth you don't have to depend on somebody else's platform or somebody else's numbers you put in the work and you could determine how much you are worth it's a big it's a big story right here because I remember when Joe Budden got his deal with Spotify and he was like one of the first urban podcasts to have that type of deal on Spotify. So to have them both on the same platform and knowing that Spotify is is taking these type of risks and they going for it, I'm glad I'm on Spotify shit. Dollars is, you know, four thousand square feet. Go Spotify. Two years later, the house next door, same exact size as yours. 
sold for a million dollars. You just made five hundred thousand dollars. Joe Rogan officially showed the value of content creators worldwide. That means Spotify is willing to pay a guy like enough. We gotta know that Joe Rogan is the number one podcast, one hundred fifty million downloads per month, fifteen hundred podcasts. That's all gonna be transferred That's over crazy. to Spotify. Uh, this guy pulls from UFC. This guy pulls from a, month. a marijuana site. This guy pulls from you know Hollywood actors, comedians workout he's a great fighter himself he's got a lot of drop different places that he posts people from but still he got paid a hundred million dollars now was that a wise investment on spotify side now, as far as rogan goes he had to make his decision based on what he did but on spotify spotify side let me show you some numbers here let's look at let's see the cap. numbers let's look at market cap so check this out this was announced yesterday yesterday if you come closer mario Spotify stock was $161.43, if you look right here, okay? Today, the stock <laughs> is what? $189.80. Okay, so look at this increase from May 19th to May 20th, how much has gone up, right? From Sheesh. 161 to 189. Let me do some math for you. They announced Rogan is leaving Google and leaving YouTube and leaving iTunes to go to Spotify, right? Oh my yeah. gosh, Joe Rogan's leaving. Most Joe people don't know Google control. and YouTube is tied. Employee, they like one and the same. The same thing. He's got control of his creativity. So Spotify cannot tell him what to talk about and what to talk, what not to talk, because that's a challenge right now on YouTube. Here's the math. Mario, come around. Let me show the math for you. The stock yesterday, the 19th, was $161.43. Today, one eighty nine and eighty nine uh, eighty cents. Okay, <laughs> I just sick of them broke down the simple math on the paper. <laughs> Look at this nigga, man. He done wrote what the calculator says on the paper for you to see. I love it, man. Do your thing, bet David. It's a plus of twenty eight dollars and thirty seven cents divided by one sixty one forty three. They made seventeen point five seven percent in forty eight hours, and this is what it looks like. Spotify on 518 was worth 30.53 billion dollars. Today, Spotify is worth 35.29 billion dollars. They gave a hundred million dollars contract to Rogan. They made five billion in 48 hours. Nothing for Spotify. Spotify, good for you to show the marketplace the value of Joe Rogan. Joe, Joe Rogan is worth essentially five billion dollars. That's what Joe is worth That's wild. Spotify. I like that math because breakdown. Because all of those viewers that were going and watching his podcast. That math breakdown was, that was necessary for niggas like me who don't under really, really understand what he just wrote down. Because he just copied what the screen said, but I still didn't get it until he said, Joe Rogan is pretty much worth $5 billion. But what Spotify did is the following. Anytime you go to war, let's just say you go and fight a game, right? And you don't just go fight the, the average guy's going to just fight the regular guys at the bottom. But you go to the main guy and you fight him. You knock the leader out of a gang. You automatically gain the respect of who? Everybody, right? Spotify didn't go after the number 10 podcaster. They didn't go after the number five podcaster. They told YouTube, we're going to take your best player away from you. That's exactly what I Joe said. Logan. And he's going to come to us. And you know what's going to happen? The eyeballs. That's exactly what I said. Is open. So guess what? Your content creators, YouTube, are not happy with you. Capitalism is going to do its part. This is why I trust capitalism. So now, content. Now, I'm not like this guy trusting on capitalism, but I'm somebody that is like Joe Rogan who trusts they self. Like you go bet on yourself and do what you got to do. Like anybody else who's seeing this like I'm seeing is like, man. This is the time to create. This is some good game right here. I like this. Creators are very happy. Oh, my gosh. Not only game, this is like history for real. Did you see what happened? Did you see what took place? That means maybe I'm worth more money. That means maybe I... Yes. I ain't worth shit true yet, but... If you're a talent wanting to create content, and that's the direction you're going to be going to, right? Now, Spotify is going to make a decision who they're going to be picking up, but a couple things I want you to be thinking about behind closed doors this is one of the things i'm thinking about you got some more notes so i'm a guy that likes to go and analyze things right so watch this joe has an agent he's got a Shit, me too. and negotiates on his behalf now according to some of the numbers he's already making 30 million dollars a year some say he's making 50 grand an episode he does some episodes he makes 150 grand like he lost Elon Musk maybe makes it the last stats that i heard was something like joe rogan off of podcasting alone makes 30 million dollars a year 
Now, I don't know if that is like just off of ad revenue alone, but that's the stat. That's the last stat that I heard about Joe Rogan making money on podcasts was some somewhere along the lines of thirty million dollars a year. It didn't break down all the avenues of how he gets thirty million, but that's a lot. So to tack on the hundred mil, this is crazy. 200 300 grand that he does regardless of what it is he made 30 million last year so if they say they sign a hundred million dollar deal i would hope it's only a two or three year deal but maybe it's a four year deal let's just say that's what the case is the question we got to ask is the following did joe rogan's manager go to youtube and tell youtube joe's about to sign a deal with spotify do you want to match it to keep him apple or itunes over Google, right. do you want to keep him or are you okay losing him? Right. Now, I'm not there to speculate and say what was said. I don't have the data. I don't have the entry. I don't have the man, the script to tell you this is what was said. I have the emails. Not at all. But let's just say that's what happened. And Joe's a pretty astute guy. He's a pretty intuitive guy. He's a pretty smart guy. He's going to tell his manager, hey, go ask, uh, go ask YouTube if they're willing to match. Imagine if they did and YouTube said, no, we're not willing to give Joe million see that's the thing man i'm thinking that's exactly what youtube but might have did like being as arrogant as uh, as as they are as most business owners are i'm not assuming youtube is there yes i am i am assuming they're arrogant i'm pretty sure they was like fuck it as big of a platform as we have and as many people would like to compete to take joe rogan's place shit he can go get 100 million that's like companies that don't give a shit about their workers that be putting in years and years of hard work, sweat equity, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And then they really don't value them that much because it's so many other people that's like dying to take their place and just be th- more thankful than you to have that job, man. It's, it's That corporate shit is cut, though. Maybe $300 million. He's not worth that kind of money. Are you kidding me? Joe worth $200 million? No. They're just trying to bluff us. They're trying to play the game. While Spotify made five billion. So Spotify, I've never done anything with Spotify, ever. I've never listened to anything on Spotify. What? Totally, fully trans- never. What? And the next question becomes, how many people will convert and go follow Joe's content on Spotify? Here's the reality of it. I'm going to go ahead and say it again, man. I'm going to give it up to Joe Budden. He was the first uh, creator that I know to be on there for real. So I got on there after after I found out he was on that motherfucker. I said, shit, this the new wave. Now Joe Rogan on there? People talk about oversaturation before. Psh, sheesh. What you going to say now? Two ways to look at that. Number one, the true believers of Joe, 100% is going to Spotify. No question. 100% is going to Spotify. The... Oh my gosh, I got lost and found this video of Joe Rogan, but I'm not a subscriber. What a cool video. I get stuck for two hours and 28 minutes. Maybe not, but the true believers will go. Now, Spotify is not dumb. They know exactly what they're doing. Spotify is probably going to spend so much money advertising Joe's short clips on Facebook and YouTube and Google to drive them to Spotify because Spotify is going to spend the money. That's what's going to be taking place. But I have a feeling his followers are going to go there, no problem. And he'll probably end up creating new followers. But this is the direction things are going right now. So it's pretty interesting to see what's going to be taking place in a marketplace because the price has been set. The market value for a content creator like Joe is $100 million. But I want to make a prediction to you right now. There's not too many like Joe, though. In the next five to ten years, somebody who's a podcaster, somebody who's a content creator is going to sign a $1 billion contract. Let oh yeah is they forgetting about howard stern i do believe howard stern got upwards of like 500 million when satellite radio was hitting the scene serious and xm when that shit was like taking off satellite radio i do believe howard stern was really up i i could be really fudging those numbers right now but i think he if if it wasn't 500 million he might have been the first to get $100 million for real. And that was a long time ago. So it's not outrageous to think that somebody could get a billy. I predict in the next five to ten years, someone's going to sign a one. Oh, it's going to be before. 
dollar contract. One billion dollar contract. You know why? Because why? hopefully YouTube, Google, some of the executive Spotify's are going to see this and they're going to say, wait a minute. You mean to tell me I give you $100 and I make $5,000 in 48 hours? I'll bet that. Even roulette is $100 for $3,600. I've never heard anything. I pay $100, I make $5,000. 50 x in 40 hours? Spotify says yes. 50 x 48 hours. Time to play ball. The market's been set. Everyone knows what is the value of those creating content. And this pandemic that took place made Spotify $5 billion in 48 hours. And in a way, if they made $5 billion, that means somebody lost $5 billion. With it. Mm. I think we got the message right there. That's crazy. The market has been set. Content creators start creating. Time is now. Pandemic is here. Opportunity awaits. Let's get to it. It's the J-Mash Show. We out of here.